Okay, along the way, welcome to this player growth test. We're taking a look at Kalen Patterson, the 21 year old right back. This is a 68 overall. He was actually a very interesting player for me, FIFA 16. I really liked him as a striker. At one point, I believe he was listed as a right back slash striker. Uh, this year, he is chest listed as a right back. He's six foot two, right foot high, medium, three star, three star, early crosser, power header, giant throw in traits, and strength, especially from a start. So you can see very strong 90 strength, 92 jumping, 88 stamina, 80 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. That those are some really ridiculous stats right there. Uh, could be a very effective as a center back, of course, maybe even as a CDM or as well as a wing back with that type of stamina he has on him. So uh, uh, plus two in that first season, some nice little steady growth here. But again, those physicals are what really stand out for him. The interceptions aren't the best, unfortunately, um, but he's going to be kind of a guy that you probably want to be man marking more uh, to be pushing players off the ball and covering with that that sprint speed. Uh, and of course, the stamina improving also looking very solid. The crossing is not too bad either. Ball control dribbling isn't the best. He's definitely more of a defensive fullback and, and again could certainly step in some other spots on the pitch just as a, a center back or a wing back even maybe as like a left mid, right mid in a 3-5-2 but uh, solid improvement over the years just about to hit that potential but of course heading accuracy being very good is also very good to see there because he'd be a big threat on those set pieces with that jumping height and of course that heading ability with that heading accuracy uh, but he would end up getting to the 78 overall age 26. Doesn't have the highest potential but again, those physical stats are ridiculous. You can see some nice improvements over the years. Uh, the jumping, sprint speed, uh, acceleration got some improvement along the stamina, kind of the biggest growth there physically. Mental stats didn't grow too much with the exception of the aggression. But ball control, marking, uh, short pass, heading accuracy, crossing, uh, just kind of the biggest improvements there. Of course, the stand tackle, slide tackle also. Uh, so some nice steady improvements over the years. Again, the interceptions unfortunately did not move up too much. But that's a common theme in this FIFA with the lack of growth. Uh, in that those mental stats aerial threat and strength especially is what he will have here um, just kind of oh, just missing out on that speech especially I would say by like what eight points or something uh, in total so not not too far away from that specialty either so an excellent mix of pace and strength 84 acceleration 80 sprint speed 96 jumping 96 stamina 90 strength some solid stats technically uh, the, with very high aggression the 96 mark marking tackling are solid very high heading accuracy ball control crossing are not too bad either along the short passing so I definitely would take a look at him he brings you a lot of versatility with his game of course being six foot two can slot in as a center back has the pace and strength to be a very effective fullback and the stamina to be a wing back as well and it could even slot in as a left mid right mid maybe even a center defense mid on occasion for you um, or center mid to close out games and just kind of chase the ball down and win the ball in the midfield for you but uh, a wonderful player guys I definitely would take a look at him but with that thanks for tuning in I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later.